Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show a demo on how to load pipe delimited data into SQL tables using bulk and zip. So there are four ways to load the data into the database table. First one is the import wizard. Next one is BCP utility command by using BCP utility command. And we all know creating by using creating the SSS package and bulk and search command. We already shown three ways of loading in earlier videos. I will paste the uh, relevant links those who are not watching the videos import wizard and pcp command now we will see how to insert the data bulk insert command so this is my table i suppose to load the pipe del delimited data in this table now we are seeing the put data so this is my pipe delimited data it contains around 995 records 990 records the uh, field is terminated by pipe here here my, my input source is uh, fields are terminated with pipes so i want to load all this data into that respective database table for that i am using the bulk insert command bulk insert on which table you are, you are supposed to insert it's a city table from from is the keyword from from which source you want to take the data so here my source file you have to take the whole path of the uh, your file within course you have to mention the, the link and with this keyword after with you need to write some some expressions some term, field terminator pipe Which you call to pipe. <coughs> pipe, comma, and next one is row terminator. Row terminator is equal to within single quotes new line. Next one is batch size. These, these are some specifications you need to mention as per your requirement. Batch size here I mentioned as 100 because. Uh, our input source is around 1000 records I, uh, I want to load the 1000 records in 10 parts by batch size is 100 or you want to put as 200 as per your requirement so 1000 records is very few data if you have millions of rows in the input source file then the batch size is play very important role for uh, improving the performance now the next one in placing here is first row first row is two that means it will consider the first header row as the first row and the um, uh, data will start from this second row onwards that's why i am uh, i am mentioning as a two if you if you mention three that doesn't mean it does not load it in the table it will load it from final three onwards so that's my we have to mention first row will comes to header row column headers all these things and from second row onwards we need to load all the data next is max error so if you have thousands of millions of rows uh, the errors will be common in the input source so that's why you need to <coughs> mention some, some, some maximum errors number that means Till that uh, it will allow only one error only. If, if the uh, if the input source has more, more than one error, the, the data will be truncated and does not load it at all. So I will show one by one by changing these uh, fields and the property. I am, uh, I am running with this query with these specifications now. So batch, uh, we mentioned batch, batch is uh, 200. That means it will load all rows as a five times. That means around 995 rows it will loaded every 200 rows at one time and all records will be loaded now now we will check the we'll see the select statement all 995 records are loaded but it will split the 200 rows for each batch and load it i am changing the uh, batch as it is i am truncating the table i will do the i will change the value of the first row 
property and we will see we already seen the <coughs> data will started from 502 onwards now after running the including this query 502 record has not displayed see there is no 502 record even though it is there in the input source that is how the first row is very, very, very important you will always keep this as a two and second one is I'm again truncating the table exchange I need to do is max error allowed is one now I'm intentionally you know, do some mistakes in the input source of more than two more than one so I am uh, removing this city and paste it in the ID column and ID number pasted in the city column and we will see how it will work truncate the table again if you run this query data will be loaded but it throws some warning message and below you can see query completed with errors so if you see the data in the tables the 502 record is not appeared in the table because the data truncation error, data conversion error, uh, that's why it is not appear. Now we will again truncate the table and see more than two errors, more than one error. The first record will be the, we changed the city to uh, city value to ID column, ID value to city column. Now I again change the second one also city into id and in uh, in uh, in city column i will make it as a id if you run this one now the data could not be inserted see here it will uh, the uh, Query does not execute because of them and this max, max error column. So if you see the table, there is no data in the, in the table. Change this one to respect to places. This is how it works. Bulk insert command is very much useful at the time of the first time you are loading the data into the tables. Um, by using, we need to make sure you need to take care of this first row and max errors and batch size. Then it will load the data very easily and it is the fastest loading when compared to the other four, other three ways of loading the database into the input source into the database table. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.